in the spiritual science mention this. Everything is created from sound and it's very logical to think if we are created from sound, we are actually sound. But still maybe nobody ever told you and it's hard to believe. So let us now understand this point. This is also very important to have clarity. Clarity is very important. So let us understand first in terms of science. In terms of biology, if I ask you what you are made up of, so what would be your answer? Cells. Light, color, sound. Yes? What you are made up of? In biology terms, cells and tissues and organs. Good. Very good. In terms of biology, I asked, in terms of biology, we are made up of cells. Cell is the unit of our body. Everything within our body is made up of cell. Cell, you understand? Okay. Our skin is made up of cells. Our bone is made up of cells. Our blood is made up of cells. Our hairs made up of cells, our tooth, nails, everything is ultimately made up of cells. You all believe this? Yes. So my <coughs> next question is, can you please show me one single cell? Or have you seen yourself? In terms of biology, we are made up of hundred trillions of cells. A general human being is made up of hundred trillion cells. You have hundred trillion cells in your body. And you all believe this. Everything within us is made up of cells. But you can't show any single cell to me. Maybe you have never seen any single cell in your life. And maybe you have seen this. If you have studied science, you have seen this under microscope. And maybe most of you have never seen it. And you can't even show it to me, one single cell. So now next question. Why you believe this? You believe everything within you is made up of cells. There are hundred trillions of cells and you have not seen any single cell. You can't show me any single cell. So why you believe this? A very simple answer is, this is scientific and proven thing. Even though you have never seen this, but you have to believe this because this is scientific and there are so many things you have never seen. But since this is scientifically proven, we all have to believe this. Maybe most of you have never seen the cells in your body, but you all have to believe this. So you all believe you are made up of cells. Right? Good. Now my next question is, what are your cells made up of in terms of physics? What are your cells made up of? Atoms. Atoms. Cells are made up of atoms. Maybe you have never seen atoms in your life. But you have to believe this. This is scientific and proven thing. Cells are made up of atoms. So if cells are made up of atoms, you can also say we are made up of atoms. Right? Good. And what the atoms are made up of? Subatomic particles, electron, proton, neutron. So if atoms are made up of subatomic particles, electron, proton, neutron, you can also say we are made up of electron, proton, neutron. Right? At 
one level you are cell, at another level you are atom, another level you are subatomic particle. <coughs> Everything exists together. Right? Now what these subatomic particles are made up of? These are made up of quarks. The last two, three decades, scientists came to know about this new term, quarks. And they mention our subatomic particles are made up of quarks. Q U A R K S. So you. T Z. No, no, quarks. Quarks. Q U A S. So you can also say we are made up of quarks. Right? Now, what these quarks are made up of? Empty space. Yes? Empty space. So, there is one very famous theory by Einstein, E is equal to mc square. And this theory explains that everything in this universe is ultimately made up of energy. So, these quarks are made up of energy, ultimately made up of energy. So if quarks are made up of energy, you can also say we are made up of energy. If you believe you are made up of cells, you have to believe you are made up of atoms. You have to believe you are made up of subatomic particles and subatomic particles made up of quarks. So you have to believe you are made up of quarks. If quarks are made up of energy, you have to believe you are made up of energy. Now question is what kind of energy? So our Modern physics mention we are created from sound energy. So the energy present within you is sound energy. And you have to believe we are made up of sound energy. If you believe you are made up of cells, you have to believe you are made up of atoms. You have to believe you are made up of subatomic particles. You have to believe you are made up of quarks. And you have to believe you are made up of energy and that energy is sound energy, the root and core of your existence. From this sound energy, quarks energy created, from quarks subatomic particles, from subatomic particles atoms, from atoms cells, then molecules, cells, then tissues. Then all the internal organs within you, blood, bone, heart, lungs, kidney, everything. Then your external organs, legs, hands, head, back, chest, abdomen. So we see just these external organs, maybe sometimes internal organs. Beyond that, maybe you have never seen something, maybe cells, but it is there. Maybe atoms. It is there. Subatomic particles you have never seen, but it is there. Similarly, you have never seen sound within you, but it is there, the root and core of our existence. So we are created from sound and we are actually sound. And if we are actually sound, then probably we have the deepest relationship with sound more than anything else in this universe. And if you understand your relationship with sound, then you now you can go to sound. I need your help. And this is the most powerful force in this universe. It can do everything for you. Now let us have some more clarity about your relationship with sound. In scientific terms, as per medical science, you know when a fetus develops in the womb, which sense organ develops first? Heart. Ear. Sense organ. Uh, ear. ear. Even a fetus can hear in the womb. Like it told about Abhimanyu story in Indian mythology. He was able to learn everything even when he was in the womb. This is the first sense organ that develops in the womb as proven by medical science. And you know when you die, which sense organ dies last? Yes. yes. Like maybe you all have heard that 
even after your death your eyes can be donated have you heard about eye donation yes. you can write a will and after you die doctors will come take it out they can somebody can use it so what it shows this sense organ is still working even after your death till 6 hours not more than that till 6 hours even after your death this sense organ is working and can be transplanted to someone else and they can use this similarly this sense organ is still working even after your death and as proven by medical science, this is the last one to die. You begin your journey on this planet with this and you end your journey with this. Can you find some relationship with sound now? Yeah. You are so deeply related. Now let us have some more clarity about your relationship with sound. You go to any part of this world, the most developed country or the least developed country or even in the forest where tribal 